Hi everybody. I wanted to introduce you to Coda Bear. No, see, he's super excited to be here. So he's likely not gonna sit still for this little venture that we're trying to do, but he is a Samoyed. He will be six years old in August and he's just been a joy to our family. Coda is um, super social as far as he really enjoys going places and going on rides um, in the truck or the car, or wherever he could fit. And so he, he has his treats here, so he's a little bit anxious. So he knows that when he gets the bark box every month, so he's super happy when the bark box comes in. The UPS driver knocks on the door every time they knock on the door, he thinks that it's probably a box for him. So even if it's an Amazon box, it's kind of probably disheartening for him, but he, he, really, he really likes his treats. And um, that's how we trained him as well when he was a puppy, because he was food motivated totally. And um, he'll do anything for, for food. Sometimes he would be out in the yard barking and we would just simply take a dish that had candies in it and the wrappers that were really loud, we could just rattle those wrappers so we could hear it instead of hollering for him and he'll come, he'll come running. So he really likes his treats and he, if I don't give it to him right away, he'll always paw me and tell me, hey mom, I'm right here. And so he always takes it really nice um, when he does his treats. So when we go out and do, um, his car rides, I'll swing in to like Dutch Bros or somewhere where he can get a whip pup. And he totally steals the show everywhere we go. He is, uh, he'll stick his head out the window and just that beautiful fur and it makes people smile. And so that's always fun and he loves it. He loves the attention. Because he has so much fur on him, our house tends to have a little extra floaty flurs, furs. Um, flying everywhere and um, before we leave you can see I'm wearing black so I'll probably have little furs all over me and I tend to use like just a sticky one but I'll also use um, H2O at home has a little ladybug and it's got the little rubber bristles on the back and so facing downward, if you're just going like this, it pulls all the hair off. And what I found works really good in your car when you're at the vacuum and you are trying to get all that hair that has weaved into your carpet. If you have this and you're doing it and you have the hose there, if you're doing your car and you're scraping all that hair off and suction it out at the same time, it is amazing. Cause those things do not take up the hair out of your carpet in your car. So the same thing like at home, they make a bigger one for like the floors and stuff like that. So you can do that for the rugs and all of that and it pulls it right up and it's just so much easier. You know, we have a big yard so he has plenty of room to run around. We go on walks and usually people will will comment about, you know, how big he is and cause he really looks bigger in person than he does on, on camera. And he's just super friendly. So whenever he is um, walking, he'll just direct gravitate towards the people and want to say hi and sometimes that can be intimidating so I try to keep them back unless they're, they're perfectly okay with it. We have a friend who has a pool who also has two other Samoids. He hasn't been able to go because he had knee surgery back in October so he hasn't been able to go for a while um, but he likes to get in the pool and lay on floaties and just um, come here buddy and just float in the pool. He is not a swimmer. Like you see most dogs that just swim and he's super excited. So it's really hard for him to like sit still. Um, most dogs will swim and, and go ahead, lay down, go ahead. Good boy, stay, stay. Most dogs will swim around in the pool and, um, but he, he'll walk out onto the floaty and he'll just lay on that floaty and just float around and that makes him happy. Places to take your dogs, if you're, you have a friend who has a pool that allows dogs in the pool, that's where to take your dog. Um, and he loves it. They all love, love playing together. Um, winters is definitely his favorite. You can shovel off the deck, you can move all the snow out and he'll find that pile of snow to go lay in because that's the way it is. He loves his snow piles and he loves to sled. Samoids really like to sled. They don't like to pull the sled or at least he him. He'll sit on the sled with you and slide. He's really wanting this. There's this maple bacon pup scoop ice cream 
and he usually gets like a so he gets like a teaspoon a night and he really loves it so i usually stick a spoon in there and he is um he'll take it right from the spoon and obviously you can tell he loves it so much he's been on a diet so we try to give him some treats but we try to also try to make sure that he is full. So he also gets frozen green beans with his dinner. So if your dog's overweight and you're looking for your dog to lose weight, no more, all gone. So anyways, he's lost, he weighed 110 pounds. He currently weighs um, 90 pounds. And that was to help his hips and his knees and everything recover. And he, you couldn't, I mean, we can tell that he's lost some weight, but normal people couldn't tell. Um, so those frozen green beans really helped um, satisfy his hunger. When he was extra hungry, we would give him like a handful throughout the day if he was feeling hungry. So you know how that is. I think we've all like felt the ravish of hunger. We, we have a Kong and I usually stuff this with treats so it slows him down and put peanut butter in it. And if you put it in the freezer and you freeze it, then that takes them longer to get that peanut butter out. And, um, they, they get to enjoy it and work at it. It just stimulates them. If you're researching getting a pet that's right for your family, we researched all types of dogs trying to figure out what was going to be the next family dog that we were going to get. And we really focused on a dog that was going to be happy-go-lucky and get along well with the kids, whether whatever size the kids were. We have a lot of fun with them. So if you're considering getting a Samoyed, they are upkeep on their fur and taking care of them. You have to brush them out a couple of times a week and then I take him to regular groomings to make sure that he is well taken care of. He's been a little extra just because he has had those knee, he has the knee surgery and has another one coming. But they're great pets. We really enjoy him. And they call them Smiling Sammies for a reason because they're always smiling.